Every golfer wants maximum accuracy. You want to know how far away the hazard is, where the pin is located, and what club you should have in your hands. In my world, I'm a big fan of the laser rangefinder, but it can only see what it can see. So today, we're going to take it a step further and introduce you to the all-new ShotScope V3, giving you a look at things that the laser can't see. Every golfer wants an exact number. Even if our handicap is a little too high to hit that exact number, you don't want to be caught off guard by a hazard that you thought you were going to carry and it turns out to be a little further. Well, I have for all of my years of golf used a laser rangefinder, but it can't see everything. It can only see the things it can reflect off of. And so what happens when a, when a hazard is obscured? I'm sorry, a penalty area is obscured. New language, right? That's why today I'm excited to unbox and take a look at the new ShotScope V3 with you because it can see things from a GPS level that a laser can't. Now, the only reason this box has already been open is because I charged the watch. Everything else is still exactly how it came. So here is the watch itself. This one came with a beautiful little teal wristband. We'll get to that in a moment because you have options. The charger that comes with it is proprietary. It's not a standard USB charger, so, so you'll want to keep a good eye on this thing. And then, as we get down into the, the usual suspects, the quick start guide, um, it'll walk you through the setup. You know, you want to charge it, you want to download the mobile app for ShotScope and those kind of things. But there's one more item in this box that is a little bit different than most GPS devices. There are 16 tags that go in the end of your golf club. Why would that be? Because the ShotScope V3 does more than just give you distances. It actually allows you to track your game from tee to green, including putting, coordinate all of that, syncing through the mobile app, and seeing reports of where your game is, earning rewards as you go, and it all is triggered by these tabs that you actually gently screw into the butt of your handle, the butt of your grips on your clubs. There are 16 tabs, and it'll, you'll find one for everything in your bag. And here's the cool part. The operating process, the rhythm of how all this works, does not interrupt your game. I remember a few years ago, a similar concept came out. I won't name the product. I actually don't think it's still around. And between every shot, you would have to touch the tag to a transmitter on your belt. And so you actually had to completely alter your pre-shot routine. That's not the case with ShotScope. It happens automatically. You put these in your club and the game is underway. You don't have to do anything else. You'll use the watch for your distances. You'll use the tags to track your game. And at the end, you'll do all the downloading, the coordinating, and then you'll be able to see the strengths and weaknesses of your game. So uh, let's get this thing on the wrist and we'll take a look at all of its capabilities here as we get ready to tee off on number one at the Sawmill Golf Club in Freeland, Michigan. For our initial unboxing and setup, as we speak, we are updating the firmware on that watch. So that's taking place while we step over to the bag because I mentioned that there are some tags that you will screw into the uh, butt end of your grip. These will be the sensors that ShotScope uses to track your game. So I'm not going to put all 14 into my clubs, but I'm going to grab a few so that we can demonstrate how they work. This one is marked D. I think we could all figure out that that's for driver. So come on in here and take a look. It just turns into the butt of your grip. A few rotations. There's nothing to activate. There's nothing else to do. The technology is built into the tag. Okay, so there's the concept behind the tags that go into the butt of each club. We will take it out onto the course here momentarily, see how it all works using the clubs that I configured just for this reason. Okay, we've got it out of the box. We've charged it. We've connected it to the mobile app that we downloaded. We've updated the firmware. You only have to do all that once, and the Sawmill Golf Club instantly appeared. As I said, there were 35,000 something courses already in the database. So now I stand here on the first tee where there are some hazards that the laser would never be able to see. So let me walk you through the data that's on this watch. Okay, right now I'm on the back tees. This first hole is 386 yards, 370 to the front, 402 to the back. 
But when I come up here and I hit this, it shows me that there's a hazard right directly next to me at 19 yards away, but to carry it entirely, if I flared one way off to the right, I'd have 238. On the left, the thing the laser could never see is the other it's a penalty area slash waste area. At 234, it starts. At 264, it ends. So now this gives you some really good aiming information for your tee shot. You know you don't want to go left because you're going to end up in that area. So I'm going to try and put one out to the right side. We are downwind today, so this is, this is in my favor, right? Let's try it. I have the tab already in the handle of the driver. Shot scope is already going to record everything that happens from here on. All right, we got one in the fairway. Now let's go grab another club with a different tag in it and see how shot scope marks our progress. We have successfully navigated the hazards or penalty areas off the tee, so we're in the fairway. And I like to do a comparison because, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a really big fan of the laser rangefinder, but it can't see everything, including the hazards that are on this hole. I've got 159 to the flag according to that. According to this, I'm going 154 to the middle. And the only difference with the GPS system is that it does general. It goes front, middle, back on each hole. And again, if we want to come in and see where the hazards are, where trouble is, we hit the top right button and we can see that there's a bunker on the left that is 130 on the front. And it's a big bunker. It goes all the way to 158. So from the angle where I am, that bunker really shouldn't be a factor. But if, if you were on the left side of this fairway, it definitely would be. And this watch, this shot scope would help give you a feel for where you need to hit it. So I'm going to hit an eight iron. I am downwind big time, so it's actually a little too much club, but because I already have the tag in it, we'll, we'll see how it works out, all right? It has become very windy out here in the last few minutes. I didn't hit that one very well. We're going to be short down front. That's what we call user error. Again, I have the tab in the end of my 54 degree wedge. I missed the green short because I, well, I chunked an eight iron. So we'll see how well shot scope tracks this shot and the putt that follows, unless I hole it out, you know, which we're, we're fully committed to. All right, not too bad. Away we go. Well, that is a rapid fire two hole live fire test of the ShotScope V3. And having gone from unboxing to firmware update to connecting to the app, and then even uploading what we would define as a round, even though it was only two holes, uh, everything performed exactly as advertised. Now, you need to know, you can just use this as a watch and a GPS device. You don't have to do the tracking, and this will still be useful to you throughout your round. But if you're a, a golfer like a lot of us who are, you know, we're just a little bit off, if you know what I mean, we like all the stats. We want to know every distance. We want to know every yardage. We, we do want to know where our game most needs improvement. And that is what the V3 can help point out. In the end of all of this, whether you download the round to your phone or to your computer at home where you can see it in a, in a lot more graphic form, it really does help identify your strengths. And if you happen to have any weaknesses, I know most of you don't, it identifies those weaknesses as well. So well done by our friends at ShotScope with the V3. Go out and get yours today. And if you're still a laser oriented thinker, bring them both. The laser can see things that this can't and this can see things that the laser can't. ShotScope V3.